What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. In today's video, we're going to learn the difference between on time and in time, at the beginning and in the beginning, at the end and in the end. These words are very confused and I've corrected these mistakes lots of times. That's why in today's English bit, we're going to break down this grammar point. Are you ready? So let's kick off. Let's start with our first group of the words, which are on time and in time. On time means punctual, not late. Something happens at the time which was planned. In castellano sería puntual o clavado. Let's look at some examples. The first one. See you at 10. Please be on time. And the second example, he is never on time. His lack of punctuality really gets on my nerves. The verb to get on somebody's nerves means poner de los nervios. For example, you're getting on my nerves, which means me estás poniendo de los nervios. And the opposite of on time is late. For example, please don't be late. And now let's move on to in time, which means soon enough. In castellano, a tiempo. And now let's look at two examples. The first example, we're still in time to solve the situation. Aún estamos a tiempo de resolver esta situación. And the second example, I missed dinner but I got in time for dessert. The opposite of in time is too late. For example, sorry, you are too late. The conference has already finished. And you can also use the expression just in time, which means almost too late. In castellano, justo a tiempo. For example, we got to the airport just in time for our flight. Or another example, I got just in time for my job interview. And now let's move on to our second grammar point, which is the difference between at the beginning and in the beginning. Important the spelling of the word beginning, which is with double N. So we use at the beginning with of something. For example, at the beginning of the week, at the beginning of the match at the beginning of September or at the beginning of the concert. So there has to be at the beginning of something. And now let's look at some examples. The first example, the teacher introduced himself at the beginning of the class. And the second example, I'd like to go skiing at the beginning of the year. And now let's look at in the beginning, which means at first, for example, in the beginning, I thought it was a joke, but later I realized that he was telling the truth. And the second example, in the beginning, he found it hard to come to terms with the divorce, but finally it was for the better. The verb to come to terms with something is situ, and it means to gradually accept a sad situation. And now let's move on to our third point, which is the difference between at the end and in the end. The same as at the beginning, at the end needs of something. For example, at the end of the day, at the end of May, at the end of the street, or at the end of the film. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, there will be an exam at the end of the course. And another example, I'm moving abroad at the end of the summer. And in the end means finally or eventually. For example, I wasn't sure about taking the exam, but in the end, I decided to give it a go. To give it a go means to try. Or another example, I didn't go to the party in the end. And to finish, we're going to do a mini test so that you can make sure that this grammar point is crystal clear. I'm going to give you six sentences and you're going to choose A or B. The first sentence, I don't think I'll get 
A. In time. B. On time. For the beginning of the surprise party. Time. The correct answer is in time. I don't think I'll get in time for the beginning of the surprise party, which means a tiempo in this case. The second sentence, the meeting is at 5 p.m. Please arrive in time, A, B, on time. The correct answer is please arrive on time, which means please be punctual. Sentence number three, we're going to travel to London at the end of the course, A, or in the end of the course, which is the correct option. The correct answer is we're going to travel to London at the end of the course. Our sentence number four, luckily nothing serious happened. Option A, in the end. Option B, at the end. And the correct answer is, luckily, nothing serious happened in the end, which means here, finally. Let's move on to our sentence number five, which is, she's getting married at the beginning of July or in the beginning of July, which is the correct answer. The correct answer is she's getting married at the beginning of July. Was it correct? And our last sentence is they didn't get on well. Option A at the beginning, option B in the beginning, but finally became friends. The correct answer, they didn't get on well in the beginning. Was it correct? So how did the test go? Did you get everything correct? You can share your score in the comments below. And of course, if you found this English bit useful, don't forget to give it a like and to subscribe to our channel. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao!